three miles from Cork City Centre. A peaceful haven with a long history. These days, it's an idyllic setting for many. We're here at Murphy's Farm in Bishopstown, where later the Cork Paranormal Investigators will be looking for evidence of ghostly activity. The area was once a summer residence for Church of Ireland bishops and dates back to the mid 18th century. Two bishops, Peter Brown and Isaac Mann, were buried here in a vault under this former church in the 1700s. Later, their bodies were moved to St. Finbar's Cathedral in the city, and only the ruins of the former chapel remain today. But the question for the Cork Paranormal investigators is, does anything else still linger here? Though it may seem silly to a rational mind, many people are fascinated with the paranormal. Earlier, I met up with some of the group's members. Uh, my name's Sinead, I'm part of a group called CPI, Cork Paranormal Investigators, and we've been up and running as a group since about 2006. Uh, my name's Kevin, um, I've been involved in CPI since two, 2006. Kevin and Sinead described one frightening experience they had while investigating an old building. In fact, it was one of the other investigators I was there with at the time, Kevin. Um, he did see something in there that we did not like and let's just say we exited the building quite quickly. Well, um, it was black and we heard a few noises and it looked at me right and I seen a shadow far away in the distance and then we looked again, it was right at my face and I froze and it just disappeared. What he seen did not appear to be nice or friendly. I'm not easily scared but I got a fright and lost my bearings, got out anyway and decided to go back in again, search around the whole building, there was nobody on it. Lots of people are interested in the paranormal, but some people might think it's a bit silly to believe in ghosts. What would you say to, to these people? Be open-minded. Don't knock it till you try it. Try it and you'll see. There is something out there. It's the evening of the hunt, and I'm on my way to join the team as they prepare for their investigation. Before we started, two more members joined us. They showed me some of their expensive equipment. Hi, my name is Nicholas, this is Jackie, and uh, I'd like to show you some of our equipment here and describe some of it. This is what is called a K2 meter, and what it does is it uh, tracks any electromagnetic frequencies in the area. The theory is if there's any spirit nearby or anything like that, that this lights up to orange, or if it's very strong, it turns up to red. This is just another small gadget as well that's... Uh, you don't use that often, but basically you can sense if there's a mobile phone turned on or whatever, you know, so because sometimes that can be useful. Yeah, because mobile phones interfere with a lot of the equipment, so this will help if anyone has a mobile phone on, because it will interfere with the equipment, so this will tell if someone's mobile phone is on or off. Darkness has set in, and the investigation is about to get underway. I'm not sure what to expect, but I try to keep an open mind. What would be the first thing you'd kind of do when you go into a place? Um, depends on the location itself. Um, a derelict building like this, we'd probably just go in, have a look around. Um, generally, then we'd start getting out the, the equipment, things like dictaphones and the cameras, take a few pictures. Have you got evidence on cameras before of pictures have, that you've just been taking? We, on our Facebook page, we have got evidence. Uh, there's voices and there's a bit of footage as well. Okay, sometimes we would use um, trigger objects. That's what we happen to have with us is a, is a compass. Um, now the theory behind the compass is in fact is if a spirit is trying to manifest itself or gets close enough to it, it can actually send the compass spinning. What's the machine on the wall behind you, Jackie? That is the mini DVR. So that's like our big camera over there, but a smaller version of it. Oh, so that's yeah. for if you want to, like our trigger object is the compass. So that's just going to be focused on that for the night in case it moves or anything. Um, basically what we're going to do is just a short EVP session. Um, as you've heard, EVP stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon. Hello, <coughs> my name is Kevin. That's Sinead, Jackie and Nicholas. So basically what we do is we'll set our dictaphones recording and we'll just generally start calling out asking if there's anybody here, could they make themselves known to us. Um, pretty general questions for the, the place we're in at the moment. We're here to do a, a small investigation just to see if there's anyone here. 
Does somebody here, can you make some sort of sound for us? Maybe knock on the stone behind us or perhaps even throw a stone. His. Seriously, I've got a kid. Okay. Could yep. you do that again Sorry. if that was you? If there's somebody here, can you make the, the device in Jackie's hand go up again? Just come close to it, it won't do you any harm. This may be your only chance to make yourself known, so if you want to make yourself known, do it now, please. Now we can't hear you, but there's devices there that can pick your voice up. So if you want to speak, speak as loud as you can. We know that you could be afraid of us or shy because maybe this is your first time having someone to come in to talk to you. There's no need to be afraid of us. We're not here to move you on or anything. We just want to know a little bit more about this place and a bit more about yourselves. Okay, oh, Tony. Yes. I got it to accept. Yes, it did. Yeah. Surprise. Oh, there, cool. there again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Could you put the light up a wee bit higher for me? Just, just to verify things. The group continued to try and channel the dead with no luck. However, they were intrigued by some of the activity on their devices. Well, that's the news. Is that kind of unusual? Yeah, let me I wasn't tell expecting you, that. It's yeah. a long time since you've been yeah, to yeah, yeah, be yeah. honest about it, lads. Especially yeah. straight yeah. off the mark. Let me tell you, I wasn't expecting anything. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's quite rare when that goes off. What is what it? Very what what was this machine? This K2. This. Yeah. That's the K2 meter. Um, Is that the, the electric field? Yeah. The electromagnetic field. Yeah. That's it for the night here at Murphy's Farm. There's been no contact with the dead, but at least the group have enjoyed their experience and spirits are still high. They leave me here alone and head off into the night, and their investigation of the paranormal continues. So, how did you find that, Emma, lads? How was Murphy's Farm? Yeah. There was a couple of things happened with the K2 reader. There was that went off a couple of times now inside. It's going to be very angry. I'm going to go through the deck of and stuff. Can you let me know if you find anything? Oh, we certainly will. We certainly will.